All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. We're out here at the slab today, guys. This is going to be episode seven of DIY Diaries, and I've got a pretty cool episode planned for you all. So if you aren't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave a thumbs up. Honestly, guys, if you aren't subbed to this channel, you are living under a rock. Plans for today. I was at Bunnings earlier, bought a few bags of self-leveling cement. So I'm going to put that down. Hopefully do the majority of this paved section here. So when you come off the manual pad, you land on something smooth instead of landing on this stuff. And there's a handrail I'm going to cut out and um, hopefully Daniel can give me a hand again cutting and shutting this rail so we can put it down the side of this manual pad here. So it'll be a down rail with the manual pad. This will be all smoothed. I'm hyped as, are you guys hyped? Let's get into the video. Hi guys, we're Sean Slaves. <laughs> Teamwork, he guys. He pays us with skate spots. <laughs> yeah. Community project. <laughs> the route we're cutting out today is this handrail right here. I don't know if you guys can see, I'll show you. This bad boy right here, oh, you can't really see. Board there we go. Board. There you go, you can see it a bit better now. So I think I just need to cut the anchor points like here. One, two, three. And then someone's already started to cut here, so I've got to cut here as well. So there's four points to uh, separating this rail, and we can get it out. I might start. to pull quite a crowd out here today at the slab guys everyone's here skating hanging out helping out which is great because this is a community project We've got a little game of skate happening right now on the manual pad for these fellas oh. <laughs> oh. look how much we've cleaned up this spot compared to what this spot looked like when we first got to the slab um, damn, this place looks brand new almost. Just had some lunch, so I'm just going to let my food settle. Then I'm going to get into cementing this spot right here. Get that all sorted out. And then hopefully tomorrow or the next day I can get this rail cut and shut up at Daniel's. My favorite thing about this spot is that this place used to be like abandoned and like trashed and like dirty. And we've managed to come here and clean it up. and build something for everybody to skate, everyone to enjoy as well.
you guys remember in my video the teaching a subscriber how to drop in this is, this is Khan. <laughs> yeah he's back today <laughs> we're out here at the slab he's got this sick 80s setup what is this yeah. 1985 really yeah 1985 yeah. steve yeah. stedham <laughs> stedham stedham reissue yeah. i've been riding it around having some fun on it i might build one of these boards i think just to cruise around on what do you guys think it's as wide as like a snowboard, man, honestly. Yeah, how <laughs> wide it is. And then it tapers down to like a, maybe an 8.75. Yeah, wow. And then a, a I really 99. like this part here. It's like. Phew. Yeah, they're cool, like the spade or something. Like okay. Yeah. When my foot's on the tail, it just feels like I'm riding like a coffin or something. <laughs> it's so wide, eh? Chris Theat. Chris Theat is that kid that rides for Powell Peralta. He's been in a yeah. bunch of Dale Decker's videos. So Khan messaged him and asked him like what specs his board was. What size wheels and stuff? 54s. 54 99A V5 bones, yeah. STFs. 8.75 inch Indy trucks. The truck pattern is actually longer, so you have to. Uh, so there's actually a six hole, like there's, yeah, yeah, there's two six. holes. Extra two there, one, two, yeah. three, four, five, six. So I just messaged him on Instagram and he actually messaged back, so surprisingly. Wow. That's sick. So I just fanboyed him and then. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. That's yeah. like rad that he wrote back and told you yeah. he's all these specs and stuff, man. That's, that's awesome. awesome. I've never used self leveling cement before, so it should be interesting. It says we need to add about four, between 4.2 to 4.6 liters of water. You're supposed to use a mixing drill, but I don't have one. I'm just going to use that bit of wood right there. Could have been an elbow grease in. guys check it out I think we are uh, we done pretty good my back sore so you know we've been putting in the work and I have a sore back but yeah gonna let this sit um, I'm gonna hang out here until the Sun goes down again or probably close to pack all my stuff up and then head home hopefully tomorrow or the next day I can get Daniel to uh, cut and shut this rail so it fits down the manual pad here so yeah you know when you go to uh, Disneyland in Anaheim and there's a sword in the stone. I don't know what Disneyland fairy tale movie that's from, but there's a sword in the stone. This is a kind of sword in the stair set at the slab. So if you're the chosen one, you should be able to come down to the slab and pull this sword right out. Looks like a pirate sword, how it has that guard for your hand. But yeah, if you're the chosen one, you come down the slab, pull this out, use it as a sword. <laughs>
next day. I'm out here at Daniel's. Yo, what's going on? He's been kind enough to give me a hand again with the rail. If you guys would have seen this third episode of DIY Diaries, I believe, we uh, got a pole jam done and a rail done. So this is gonna be the rail that's gonna come off the manual pad. So we're gonna get that cut and shut today. guys check it out cut shut put the feet on got them welded in so we just got to bolt it to the ground at the slab off the manual pad and get it painted up and it should be good to go big shouts out to daniel for uh helping me out on this one again if you guys are into cars at all he has a channel he just started you get to see some cool car builds a little bit of a sneak peek <laughs> but yeah what is it gounder garage yeah gounder garage on on youtube check yeah. it out guys some sweet builds coming along here check out this one guys i think if you're from the states you call this an acura i think they call it acuras up there yeah, acura, yeah this is an integra is it dc dc2 got airbags this was a complete ground up build too i seen this thing like in photos it was just a shell and it was all gnarly and uh, daniel's built this into what it is now check it out in this garage, yeah, which they built as well. Yeah, yeah. We <laughs> built everything here. Yeah, it's all yeah. DIY we built, down we here. We built the garage, we built the cars, then we built rails. That's yeah. it. Make sure you head over and subscribe. So right now, I've just got to pick a spot that's out of the public eye, where it's not too windy to paint this thing up. So uh, yeah, that's what I'll do right now. I'm going to get this thing painted. bit of a situation here guys it seems oh got a metal shaving in my finger it seems that the drill I purchased isn't quite up to the job so just so you guys can see I'm probably about a third of the way I need to be in here for me to put in some dyno bolts um, yeah the drill. that's not me stopping the drill that's just the drill stopping because it's not capable of this job. It's just, this is some, uh, yeah, this is like for like at home, drilling something into the wall, not drilling into the cement. So I'll have to wait. You guys would think this process of bolting down this rail into the concrete was a simple process, but it was actually very technical. This is like the third time We've tried to put this rail in, so I've got Todd here today helping me out, thank God. So we've managed to put in some dyno bolts, but there's two bolts that when we drilled into the concrete, we hit a bit of steel and we couldn't get any deeper, so we had to go and buy shorter dyno bolts. So yeah, it's definitely been a process to put this thing in. We've got all the gear out here today. All gear, no idea. <laughs> And I had, I had to go to Hudson twice because I first up just brought the 10 mil steel bit. Oh yeah. Didn't go through, then I had to buy the 5 and 7 but to get in.
Well, there it is guys, episode seven of DIY Diaries Done and Dusted. Shouts out to everybody that came down and lent a hand. Shouts out to Daniel for helping me with the rail once again. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram already, make sure you head on over, follow me at Enochism. Also, there's gonna be a restock on the gray Evening Mob throwy hoodie, so make sure you follow at Evening Mob on Instagram as well. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not too sure what to build next at the slab. So if you guys have any cool ideas, let me know in the comment section below. But until next time, thank you for watching the video and I'll catch all of y'all in the next one. Mm -hmm.